it guys, so today I'm going to play a game called Fortress of Dr. Vadiaki. Um, it's an obscure 1994 first person shooter DOS game. I admit, I haven't heard of it until I saw YouTube. And uh, of course I'm always interested to play all the early 90s FPS games because they're all a little bit quirky in their own way. So yeah, why not just check this one out. There we go, the Fortress of... Dr. Raddy Aki. Yeah, um, I have no idea what to expect from this game. <laughs> it's my first time playing it, but yeah, 1994 FPS DOS game. May 8th, 1963. Check it out. The world teeters on the brink of destruction. An unknown oh, blackmailer vows to wreak atomic destruction on a global scale unless one billion dollars is deposited to a Swiss checking it account for real soon acting stuff is pretty impressive. Unable to raise the money in a timely fashion, I and really heard that the first person shooting the maniac the must be stopped, and only you have the yeah, balls and the back to do it. Cool. You, Special Agent Mac Banner. Experts believe the blackmailer may be Dr. Nico Radiaki, a so household gross. appliance magnate who died. We've been shot out of a torpedo tube. You emerge on the beach and approach a garden surrounding the tower. Okay. I don't know what to expect from this game. Okay, so this is where I start out. I think I have a baseball bat? Is this a baseball bat? What the heck? It's robots. Oh, shoot. Sure. Shift is attack, which is gonna kill my sticky keys. What the heck? Ninja? The Shinobi. Wow. Well, the graphics is not bad for 1994, actually. It's pretty good. It's like more realistic looking compared to some of the cartoony FPS games out at the time. I'm talking really about Blake Stone and Rise of the Triad and those types of games came out the same year. This is more of a realistic looking game. Kind of like Alien vs. Predator, I guess. By Shinobi, so... Alright, finally got a gun. Oh wow, I even have a flamethrower? I have a pistol and a flamethrower? This is a flamethrower? No, I don't have any weapons for it. Oh, I do. It's like a mole. It's like a flamethrower grenade thing. Oh, I died. <laughs> okay, this, May eighth, nineteen sixty-three. The world teetered on the brink of destruction. An unknown blackmailer vows to wreak yeah, atomic yeah, yeah. destruction on a global scale yeah, yeah. unless one billion dollars is deposited to a Swiss checking account quote I mean, real the voice acting is unquote. impressive. I haven't really seen that. First person shooter game, but yeah, let's... Oh my god, he's just start out with this, all these guys attacking you though. Frickish Shinobi attack. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh my god. Wow. May 8th, 1963. Start off the game really the just world teeters on so the many brink guys of destruction. Going at you. It's really kind of ridiculous. Who's attacking me right here? Here's a guy. Yeah. Takes care of him. Why can't I? Shoot. I don't have any ammo left. This game you die pretty fast. It's like a lot of guys just attack you at once. Am I 70 health now? What's that? What the heck? Who's shooting me? What? Freaking ninjas. Where are you? Rosebud. Rosebud. 
god. Ninjas everywhere. It's all these ninjas. There's so many ninjas here. May 8th, 1963. This the world's very difficult because guys fire very fast. And there's so many of them that come at you. So you immediately get attacked, basically, as soon as you start the game. Man. I kind of suck in this game. You do so much damage. You know, he does 20 down he does 20 damage per attack which is ridiculous Rosebud. 20 damage per attack those robots shoot I feel like I'm already dead because they do 20 damage per bullet ridiculous May 8th 1963 the world teeters on the brink of destruction. I'm not gonna bother with the guns. I think the gun's actually not better. The melee is actually better. Because the guns are just so inaccurate. Yeah, and like, the guns are just really inaccurate in this game. Almost better just to not use a gun and just use a melee. Hit him with a baseball bat, it's better. It actually only takes two kids for the baseball bat. Oh my god, it's a robot. So much freaking damage. Robots that do a lot. Punches as soon as you start. Seriously. As soon as you start, people start firing at you. Oh, 
else I'm afraid of, because they do like 20 damage per hit. So the shinobi's alright. The, uh, boss man. 20 damage per hit. That's a lot. That's about as far as I can get, I guess. Okay, so Fortress Dr. Radiaki. Um, I'm pulling you punches. I mean, the, the graphics are actually pretty good for 1994, I like it, but weapons, oh my god, they don't really do much, and they're actually harder. Very hard to aim, so it's actually pretty much useless to use the weapons. I'd rather just use a baseball bat, the melee weapon. So, your first person shooter, weapons don't, uh, <laughs> the weapons aren't that good to use, and it's not really a great first person shooter game. Honestly, but I, I mean, the graphics are pretty nice, I guess. It's, it's more than that, it's just the regular cartoony graphics. It's a little bit better than that, but still, yeah, the guns are just horrible to use in this game. This guy's, which is a doctor, yeah, he's watching. Interesting early DOS, I guess. 